You would think that this decision by the bunker was the greatest injustice ever perpetrated on a team since we've had video assistance on the field. Fairdink can cut him in half. A couple of weeks ago, I made a video highlighting the worst calls from NRL round 18. There was a big bump there on Fafita too. It didn't even budge him. Well, referee's boss, Graham Ainsley, must have chilled out because come Monday morning, Ainsley was bleating about the criticism directed at the David Fafita no try rule why would anyone want to work in the bunker why would anyone want to be a referee when they're subject to this sort of attack so i thought i'd take a look at what amos lee had to say and spoiler alert it's both the first issue angus lee had was with the bad words that critics used i've read and heard things like diabolical the Titans were dudded, unbelievable, the worst call of the year. Flamin' heck, that's it. Big deal. I'd, I'd be happy, I'd be happy if they just said, well, that's a tight decision. That's a, you know, it'll be interesting to see what the bunker comes up with here. Struth, it's lucky he didn't hear what was being said in the living rooms of Australia. The second issue Angus Lee seemed to have was with his own eyesight. I've, I've read and heard things like that Jamal Fogarty deliberately stopped in front of Fafita. Let's have a look at what actually happens. Firstly, that Jamal stops. It's a funny way of stopping, if you ask me. I don't know. I can't see him stopping. Are you kidding me? Here's a clue. Take a look at Jamal's feet. Is he advancing towards the ball? Or is he simply blocking the run of David Fafita? I can see him about to get run over by a player of about twice his size. What does David Fafita's size have to do with it. Seriously, you accuse the media of using the motive language and then you cross out this nonsense. The only reason Bogarty is getting run over is because he jumped in front of the steam roller. Okay, fine, fine, Ken. Come at me. Give me your best shot. In fact, so much so, when Dave Fafita gets to the ball, gets it in his hands around about now, Fogarty's trying to, trying to kick the ball. Here comes the foot. You see the foot come up just as Fafita catches the ball. Wait, is, isn't it illegal to strike you with the foot and a player attempting to ground the ball or whatever? So to say that he's not contesting or that he's stopped, I just don't, don't know what people were watching. I really don't. Am I wrong? I could be. Commute the one and let me know. Because I'm with these buggers. I'm not made of glass. I invite criticism. But you'll learn in how I grow. I won't shatter at a bit of robust banter. After all, this is fear take him league not the tenway wings show See, i don't know about that he's allowed to go for the ball maybe he stopped his line and oh. turned his back on him what's he gonna do but wait there's more dave fafita is now all over him and just watch carefully here that's a handful of jersey that he's got dragging it down oh no i know he's got me now that's him dragging his jersey down from the back a jersey pool is not okay. Now, even if, even if there's a case to say that uh, Fogarty is uh, escorting and deliberately trying to block Fafita. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's not for David Fafita to decide. Oh, yes it is. David's playing footy and he's playing to the whistle. Otherwise, we get this. 
that's for the referee to decide. You can't just grab players and throw them out of the way. Agreed. Hainers Lee is 100% right. Let's see how far the filter, a man twice Bogarty's size, throws him out of the way. Sorry, there's the one making <laughs> up. So all the confected outrage about this is just so over the top. T to be frank, it brings our game into disrepute, the people that do this. Wrong. Again, what brings the game into disrepute is the failure to accept criticism. This lady gets it. He's an excerpt from the Sydney Roosters. Oh. Lily Blue from the Hello Sport podcast. It's all right. You're allowed to say, oh, God, that game was terrible. It's like you're going to be shot for saying something bad, bad about women's yes. sport. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. if we want to be taken seriously, we need to take that criticism as well. And In my opinion, Lily Starks strengthens their sport. But the, some of these descriptions that I've read out, you know, th this, wh why would anyone want to work in the bunker? Why would anyone want to be a referee? Because they have a gift for it. Because they believe that they can be the best. Here they were, leading 12 points to nil boy. Let me be clear. I've got nothing against Todd Smith. If I saw him at the pub, I'd shake his hand, pat him on the back, and buy him a beer. He's the hero we need. But no one is above criticism. Not the players, or the coaches, or the media, or me. And if you think you can avoid it, then you're in the wrong profession. But to, to suggest that this was such an outrageous, unbelievable, diabolical decision is just ridiculous, frankly. Fair can cut him in half. 